using the power of film to make a difference. That's the byline to this year's film festival. The aim is to empower audience members with personal documentaries like this. Return to Homes is the story of a young revolutionary upon his return to Syria. It's one of six films in the festival. Welcome to my guest, Human Rights Watch researcher Faraz Shanae and Paulo Zuniga, film coordinator for the Museum of Photographic Arts. And Paulo, is there a special theme to this year's films? Um, I would say this, the, the overarching theme for the festival is uh, perseverance, you know, the, each film uh, has a protagonist or character that uh, that um, strives to persevere their their circumstances of, of where they're living at and, and what's presented to them. So. Now, uh, for us, this is the fifth year the film festival has been here in San Diego. How does a Human Rights Watch mission fit in with uh, having a film festival? Well, part of Human Rights Watch's mission is to document and expose human rights violations that are occurring in various countries in the world. And two of the films, for instance, in the, uh, that relate to Middle East are um, uh, tackle issues with regard to the civil war in Syria and also women and girls' rights uh, in Iran. And those are both issues that um, my, myself and my colleagues have worked on um, for the past several years. Well, we've got a clip here of the film that opens the festival uh, tonight, Sepeda, Reaching for the Stars. I'm here at the International Space Station, the place that I've been wanting to be. Man, when the most talented and shining stars were there. Paul, uh, what's this film about? Um, the film is really about a, a young Iranian woman who strives to. Uh, be more than what her circumstances allow her in 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 life. You know, uh, she feels uh, constrained by uh, her cultural standards, her family practices, and and uh, knows that there's something more for her out there. And and so the film kind of follows her as she uh, searches for that. She wants to be an astronaut. Yeah, she wants yeah. to be an astronaut. It's, it's really quite moving mm -hmm. what I've seen. For us, uh, other documentaries about issues uh, that women face in Middle Eastern countries tend to be rather somber. Uh, why is this one so inspiring? Uh, it resonates with every girl who has a dream to be something. Um, and, uh, you know, her dream is to be an astronaut and to go into astronomy. Um, and I think the film does a beautiful job of, in a very nuanced and sophisticated way, showing how she goes about tackling issues of her family, things that are trying to hold her back, and uh, eventually uh, basically goes to where she wants to get to. And when, and when thinking of uh, human rights, why is the nuanced story important? I think it's important in Iran in particular because uh, there are lots of myths about how women and girls are in Iran and there's cer it's certainly true that there are lots of discriminatory laws in terms of personal status and uh, things of that nature divorce inheritance uh, but women also have a very uh, important role in Iranian society for instance 60% of uh, university students are women and girls and when people hear that they're shocked they think oh you know Iran is very backward you know people women can't drive there but actually there are lots of myths that are dispelled in this uh, story and that's one thing that I really love about it. Uh, Paulo, would you briefly describe, there's uh, a total of six films as we mentioned in this festival. Right. Give us some highlights of what the, some of the other films are about. Um, some of the highlights, so quickly, uh, tomorrow we've got um, Lady Valor, the Kristen Beck story, uh, dealing with a transgender in the military. Um, we've got a uh, domestic violence film on Saturday at 3 p.m. Um, we've got a um, out in the Night, which deals with uh, four LGBT women in New York that uh, deal with some violence of their own. Um, we've got a, um, I'm blanking out here, but um, Return to Homes, obviously, sure. is the, the deals with the Syrian conflict. And uh, The Home Stretch closes our, our festival on Sunday night. And that one deals with uh, youth uh, homelessness, which is something that we can relate to here in San Diego. And in, in, in that's a, a broad range of uh, human rights subjects to cover, but for us, how do you overcome the notion that you're gonna go to this film festival and you're, you're not gonna walk away depressed? Uh, well, I mean, some of the films, as I said, are inspiring. Uh, Sepida is a very inspiring film. I think what's really important about the film festival is it connects people here in San Diego and other places to the lives of individuals who are really battling uh, some serious issues, um, whether it's discrimination, whether it's civil war, uh, whether it's uh, a siege on their city, as, as we see in Return to Homes. And it uh, really engages you and it initiates a dialogue um, to understand better what you know San Diegans can do uh, to maybe help those individuals 
individuals there, the first step is always to have the, pro the proper information. And film, like no other medium, can actually connect um, and bring that information to audiences. All right. For Rasune and Paulo Zuniga, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. having us.